India's Zorwar light tank will soon replace its U.S. source Cummins engine with an 800 HP indigenous power pack, which is developed from a 600 HP Ashok Leyland DRDO design. The first 54 tanks will use Cummins engines for faster induction, while the next 300 to 400 units will feature the new engine and local transmission, boosting indigenization and performance in high-altitude terrains. Designed after the 2020 Galwin clash, the Zorwar project ensures India's self-reliance, agility, and superiority over China's Type 15 tanks. A Boeing and U.S. Department of Defense delegation will visit India between September 16th to 19th to finalize a $4 billion deal for six more P-8I Poseidon aircraft, boosting the Navy's maritime surveillance fleet to 18. Talks will also address price hikes and integration with Indian weapons. Alongside, Boeing is pushing additional CH-47F Chinook helicopters for the IF and Army to replace grounded Mi-20SAXS. While P-8I negotiations look promising, Chinook expansion remains uncertain due to budget limits and preference for indigenous options. The Indian Army has issued a rupees 30,000 crore tender to BL for five to six regiments of the indigenous Anant Shastra surface-to-air missile system, strengthening air defense along the China and Pakistan borders. Developed by DRDO and BL, the mobile system can track and fire on the move with a 30 kilometers range, ideal for rugged terrains. Complementing Akash and MRSM, it boosts layered defense against drones, aircraft, and missiles while advancing at Minerba Bharat and creating domestic defense jobs. India's Agni Prime ballistic missile test on September 24 showcased a breakthrough, a rail-based launch system that diverts overhead electric lines instead of cutting them, enabling smooth missile launches from India's electrified rail network. Developed by DRDO and Strategic Forces Command, the system uses hydraulic arms and shorting clamps to shift 25,000 volt wires within milliseconds, then restores power seamlessly. This innovation strengthens stealth, speed, and mobility for nuclear deterrence, supporting India's no first use posture, and ensuring rail mobility despite full electrification. Anjani Technoplast has launched the bunker wall a next-gen defensive barrier with radar invisibility and self-healing materials for modern warfare. It provides ballistic protection, resists detection by enemy sensors, and can automatically repair damage from small arms and bursts, ensuring durability under attack. Tested against INSAs and AK rifles, it proved highly resilient. Designed for military and paramilitary use in border security and forward bases, the bunker wall strengthens India's role in advanced battlefield protection technologies. India's Project 77 Nuclear Attack Submarines, SSNs, will be equipped with a new indigenous sonar suite, developed by DRDO, offering major improvements over the USHAS-2, used in Kilo-class subs, built by DRDO's Naval Physical and Oceanographic Laboratory. The system will enhance detection, tracking, and underwater situational awareness, critical for anti-submarine warfare and strike missions. Integrated with India's 10,000-ton SSNs, powered by a 190-megawatt reactor, the sonar advances India's self-reliance and strengthens its underwater combat edge. After Operation Sindor exposed vulnerabilities in static air defenses against Pakistan's drone swarms. The Indian Army is developing unmanned ground vehicles as mobile anti-drone platforms. These AI-driven UGVs could detect, jam, and shoot down drones using soft and hard kill systems, forming flexible defensive grids around sensitive zones. Integrated with mesh networks and indigenous counter-unmanned aerial systems, they promise autonomous, terrain-adaptable protection reducing manpower needs, while strengthening India's response to large-scale drone threats.
the Indian Air Force is preparing to upgrade 84 Su-30 MKI fighters under the Rs. 20,000 crore Super-30 program, but faces challenges due to limited squadron strength. To ease pressure, the IF plans to induct 60 to 80 Tejas MK-1A jets and up to 60 additional Rafales by 2030. These new aircraft will provide cover while Su-30 MKIs undergo modernization, including indigenous ASA radars, advanced avionics, electronic warfare suites, and new weapons like BrahMos NG. With only 31 squadrons against a sanctioned 42, this phased approach ensures combat readiness while extending the relevance of the Su-30 MKI fleet against regional threats. The Indian Air Force can induct two more Rafale squadrons, meaning 36 jets, without spending on new infrastructure, thanks to existing simulators, hangars, spares depots and engine facilities at Ambala and Hasamara. This expansion is vital as IF strength may drop to 29 squadrons by October 2025, far below the sanctioned 42.5. Rafales already proven in combat are central to India's defense strategy. The IF is also pushing for a 114-jet government-to-government Rafale deal, with local production, under Make in India, boosting self-reliance and strengthening deterrence, against threats from China and Pakistan. GTRE, with support from Godrej Aerospace, is upgrading the Kaveri engine core, to boost dry thrust from 49 kN to 60 kN a key step toward developing a 90 kN flat-rated engine for the Tejas MK2. Upgrades include better air compression, advanced turbine cooling, airflow recovery, and lighter materials, like titanium and nickel-based alloys. Designed for India's hot and humid climate, the engine will avoid the 8-10% to thrust loss seen in imported power plants, like the GEF-414. Once completed, it could deliver 60 kN dry and 90 kN with afterburner, enhancing Tejas MK2's performance and advancing India's self-reliant defense goals. That's all for today, hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.